It has been said all good things must come to an end, and that's certainly the case with the 2019 IPM. The International Plowing Match and Rural Expo has come to a close in West Nipissing. It was five days of fabulous fun, and that was graced by Mother Nature's sunshine. While an official attendance total has yet to be released, organizers are encouraged by the crowds for the five days. The final day featured one member of the host family tempting fate atop a bull. As you saw on Friday's newscast, host family representative Joel Olivier promised he would ride a bull. On Saturday, he lived up to that promise. We got a nice little bull with your name right on it. There you go. Well, I'm ready. And He's thank you again and enjoy the show. A big thank you for me and Dan and everybody. Have fun. Well, thank you two very, very much. As we look towards Silver Spur Medical Team over there. There you go. Right, now look at Joel. Oh! I tried my best, I guess. I was raised with cattle, so I knew what I was doing a bit, and I got on and I just concentrated and I made it through the halfway. What's the feeling like in the shoot, waiting for it to happen? Because you had to wait about 20 minutes waiting. You could see in the shoot, they're tying his left hand in. That is the ultimate, the final part of the eight second commitment. Well, that's maybe one of the worst feelings I've ever had. You know, you got your heart all the way up and you don't know what's going on, but. As soon as they opened the gate, I was just ready and having a rock and roll in there. I looked down once and I said, I'm in the middle of the ring. I made it through. Would you do it again? You know what? I think I would. I think I would. I would uh, not a career out of it. I got kids, I got a business to run. But yes, I would do it again for sure. And you did mention that a rodeo could be coming back next year. Uh, is this something that could become an annual thing? Well, we, we still don't know. I mean, the volunteers are tired. Everybody's tired two years out of making out of this, so we'll do small talks, we'll see where we're going to end up with this. This IPM needed a thousand plus volunteers. In return, they had tens of thousands of visitors come through the gates. It's still early to have an exact number, but in a general sense, are you satisfied with the attendance? We are very, very satisfied. It's very difficult for us to put any accurate numbers together because we're still sort of, you know, we're on the home stretch now. We want to wrap this up properly because uh, we've had a very successful week. Uh, so we look forward to putting that together and releasing that to the public soon. Any major incidents or injuries or anything of note that uh, happened that you had to deal with? It's always normal when you have a crowd of this size or of these sizes on a day-to-day -day basis in the grounds. And yes, we had a couple of uh, minor things that have happened throughout the week, uh, but we're very fortunate that there haven't been any serious injuries. From rodeo to saw and axing to knitting to you name it, it's here. How cool is it to have so many different experiences in one spot? I think that that's one of the really, really neat things about this event is that yes, we want to showcase our culture. Yes, we want to showcase our land and our hospitality and our joie de vivre. But this is what makes the plowing match interesting. The rural exposition part, all our vendors, everyone that I've spoke to are very, very pleased with their numbers. And that is one of the main reasons we put this on. We built this in order for the private sector to have opportunities to benefit from it. It's Economic Development 101. Fox had high praise for Danielle and Joel Olivier, the host family for this year's IPM. Mr. Olivier is an absolutely wonderful man. He is one of the greatest gentlemen I have ever met and his whole entire family has participated in, in ways that you couldn't possibly imagine. And you know, Joel's a perfect example, here every morning, five o'clock, brewing a pot of coffee, making sure the exhibitors get in safe, making sure a gate's run. His entire family have been magical, and I can't say enough kind things about him and how much of a gentleman Monsieur Olivier is. Are you confident in saying this year's IPM is one of the best ever? As we said from the beginning, one of our primary strategic objectives was to host the greatest plowing match in the history of mankind and our team and from the feedback I've heard in the community is it's quite possible that we've achieved it. With that said, the torch has been passed from the 1819 Queen of the Furrow, Dara Kanata to the 1920 Queen of the Furrow, Heidi Fry. Next year's IPM is being held in the Kawartha Lakes in October. And what words of advice has Derek given you as she's going to pass the crown to you during the closing ceremonies? She says to cherish every moment. <laughs> um, things can get chaotic and it can go really quickly and it 
it is what you make it to be, and she says to never pass up an opportunity. She's a great queen. <laughs> Do you have to research Corth Lakes? Have you been there before? Yes, I've been there. Um, I have friends from the area. Um, I'm excited because I hope Corth Dairy is going to be there. <laughs> But it's a beautiful area, and I know the plowing match is going to be amazing. And do you consider yourself to be a role model? And if so, what message are you hoping to get across? Uh, I hope to be a role model to young women in agriculture, and I just want to push that they can be whoever they want to be, and that um, there is a lot of jobs open in agriculture for young women. This IPM has been a real eye-opener, showing what the North has to offer in agriculture. And memories were created for a lifetime.